This video is going to show you how to conduct a Wilcoxon sign rank test in SPSS as well as a write it up and produce an effect size for it. A Wilcoxon test is used when you have a within subject design with only two levels to your IV. So it's the non parametric equivalent to a paired samples t test. The example we're going to do today is looking at people's attitudes towards country music pre-exposure to the musician Graham Parsons compared to after they've been exposed to Graham Parsons. So in this experiment what we do is we get a number of participants in and we show them a simple one to five point Likert scale and ask them the question how much do you like country music ranging from not at all to it's the best. Then we play participants some classic Graham Parsons so the GP album and some Flying Burrito Brothers and then we ask them that question again so we've got two scores on the how much do you like country music attitude scale because this is an attitude scale scored on one to five this is technically ordinal data so we analyze it using non-parametric statistics furthermore if you look at the pre-exposure data you can actually see there's a lot of ones in there so a lot of not at all so you can see some very low marks in there and if we actually look at that on a histogram just look at the pre-exposure data here we produce ourselves a histogram what we can see is we do not have a normal distribution of the data at all we see one being actually the most frequent rating and five being the least frequent rating so we certainly don't have a nice normal distribution bell shaped curve in this example so we are going to do some non-parametric testing on this so as I say it's a it's the non-parametric equivalent of a paired samples t-test to do this analysis we just go to analyze and then in non-parametric tests and legacy dialogues and then it's two related samples because we're drawing from the same sample we're just testing people twice under different ex conditions those conditions being pre-exposure to Graham Parsons compared to post-exposure to Graham Parsons. And this gives us our two related samples test window. And again, it looks very similar to a paired samples t-test window in as much as you've got your test pairs that you just need to put in next to each other here. We've only got two pairs, we've got pre-exposure and post-exposure. So we just click them across. We could do this multiple times. We could do lots of different tests, but we've only got two tests in this data set. As you can see, it's got lots of different test types that we can do. The sign test is pretty common as well, um, but we'll just be looking at the Wilcoxon today. You can also produce some exact if you want, so we could also produce an exact p-value if we wished in this case. I'll do that as well so you can see what that looks like when I do it. And that's all you need to do. So we simply click OK and then we get our Wilcoxon output. So this is the ranks table. We don't really need to look at this in too much detail really, but this little bit here can be is quite important. This sort of explains which condition has the more positive attitude towards country music. Because we can interpret this in a relatively straightforward way because it's got this useful key below. So we've got 10 negative ranks, and we've got 45 positive ranks and nine ties. So what are negative ranks? Well, a negative rank is when the post-exposure scores are lower than the pre-exposure. So that would, in, that would be indicative of people getting a worse attitude towards country music after listening to Graham Parsons. Positive ranks. This is when post-exposure is greater than pre-exposure. So this is when people listen to Graham Parsons and their attitude towards country music becomes more positive. And then ties, which is code to C, is simply when the two things are equal, so when we have no change in attitude at all. So judging by this, when we look at the ranking, we can see that generally speaking, attitudes are becoming more positive, or the more likely to be more positive after listening to Graham Parsons than they were before. Of course, that's just very descriptive and the reason we've done this test is to produce our Wilcoxon sign rank test. And this 
is our Wilcoxon Z statistic, which we'd report, and this is our critical statistic, and we'd report our asymptotic p-value along with it. And remember, because that's written as 0 0.000, we could actually report that as p less than 0 0.001. If that had a number appearing at anywhere in that point, we'd write p equals and whatever that value was. But in this case, we're going to be writing p less than 0 0.001. You can see the exact significance, the two-tailed exact significance that I also asked for was identical in this situation as well anyway. And we just write this up accordingly. A Wilcoxon sign ranked test indicated that exposure to Grand Parsons produced significantly improved attitudes towards country music. And we'd report the Z statistic and the p-value along with it. As ever, we go beyond this though because of course we also want to be able to give an effect size as well. The effect size calculation for Wilcoxon is relatively straightforward and we produce an R statistic for it. It's quite similar to the calculation that's done for a Mann-Whitney test as well. And basically the formula as you can see here it's the Z statistic divided by the square root of little n1 plus little n2 and um, that simply means there's a number in each of the conditions and usually that's exactly the same. So in this case if we look at our raw data we've got 64 in each of our conditions and usually almost always when you've got missing data you're going to have exactly the same number of people in each condition so that gives us 128 and we just simply follow the formula as below and that will produce us our R statistic of 0.45 and we can add this to the end of our sentence so not only can we see it's a highly statistically significant result we can also demonstrate to our readers what this effect size is and if you want to interpret this effect size using the standard language of effect sizes we can look at this table based on this we could make the conclusion that we have a moderate or medium to large effect. So overall this has demonstrated that exposure to Grand Parsons significantly improves attitudes towards country music and this has a moderate to large effect.